LA CITY COUNCIL PRESIDENT MITCH O'FARRELL MAKING MOVES, STRIPPING TWO EMBATTLED COUNCIL MEMBERS OF THEIR COMMITTEE SEATS. DESPITE WIDESPREAD CALLS FOR THEM TO STEP DOWN, GIL CIDIO AND KEVIN DE LEON STILL HAVEN'T TURNED IN THEIR RESIGNATION LETTERS, AND THE FURY OVER THEIR RACIST COMMENTS CAUGHT IN A RECORDING IS ONLY GROWING. KCAL 9'S JAKE REINER LIVE AT EAGLE ROCK. DE LEON'S DISTRICT, IN FACT, WHERE PROTESTERS ARE CAMPING OUT IN HIS NEIGHBORHOOD. JAKE. Yeah, that's right. And they're camping out here until he resigns. I'll step out of the way so you can take a look. You can see the tent set up here in the neighborhood. Meanwhile, at City Hall, the acting council president ratcheted up the pressure as well. My mission and my duty is to help this city heal. Acting LA City Council President Mitch O'Farrell Monday demanding Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon resign. And I urged Mr. De Leon to resign this morning. Uh, I have not heard a response back from Mr. De Leon since last week. I made it really clear that he absolutely should not attend any uh, future council meetings. As for Cedillo, O'Farrell says he did speak with him recently and he says he is reconciling his feelings and that he understood the gravity of the moment. The council does not have the power to remove the men, but O'Farrell does have the power to strip away their committee assignments. And he has. Working on committees is what gives council members much of their political power. I do not see the remaining two members who haven't resigned coming back to council with any level of credibility whatsoever. Council meetings will go on as planned, but remotely, as both council members Mike Bonin and Paul Krikorian recently tested positive for COVID. Council chambers was crowded on Tuesday. Mr. Bonin was being consoled by so many people. I felt it was fairly likely that there would be more infections. And so, at least for the next two meetings, they'll be on Zoom. So we've been camped out here since Saturday night, uh, and we'll be here until Kevin DeLeon resigns. Black Lives Matter Los Angeles is taking matters into their own hands. Camp out until DeLeon is out, protesting near Kevin DeLeon's house in Eagle Rock. He's running. We know he's running. We know he is running um, not only from us, but from accountability. And despite their presence in the area, has got to go. neighbors we spoke with support the cause and want De Leon to leave office as well. They need to be supported. I'm a thousand percent in back of them. And I just hope they keep it up and keep pressing and they finally get this guy out. You know, I am with the people. I don't think this room for those races and you know we're all equal in my eyes you know uh, they got to represent everybody so there will be council meetings tomorrow wednesday and friday and o'farrell says they will discuss the election of a new council president a position he says he is not interested in uh joining they'll also discuss charter reform and redistricting reform i reached out to gil cedillo and he responded his spokesperson said he is uh reflecting and is not available at this time as far as de leon goes he did not respond to my request for comment reporting live in eagle rock i'm jake reiner kcal 9 news hey jake thanks